Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Who do we have there watching this video and not being subscribed? Not cool, bro. But I tell you what, you can become cool by subscribing to this channel now. Subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, talking about cool, I have some gear arriving, or I had some gear arriving. That's not all of it, but uh, I want to check out what is in it. So come and join me. Does anybody need this? Guys, too much trash. Who needs all this plastic, really? Just put the board in a board bag and then put it in the carton. I think that's enough. Actually, I used to I used to have uh, Nash boards and they had this echo package system where they just put the board in a simple thin board bag. I had a board bag and I had less package. Win-win. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. So, yeah, we're still in cold, rainy Germany and uh, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video. Uh, I'm gonna call it probably... Probably my new 2018 JP board. Probably my new 2018 JP boards. Because I wanna talk about my new 2018 slalom boards. Uh, because this is the first year the boards are actually gonna have a lot of uh, my testing in them so I think I contributed a lot to these boards so I'm super excited actually to unpack them and see how they turned out how everything looks and um, let me show you guys so for me this year is the best technique to unpack a board if you ever deal with this and I hope you're gonna deal with this because it's a really nice feeling to unpack a new board um, a wise man once told me how to do this. His name is Marco Lang. <laughs> Shout out to Marco. Shout out to Marco for your unpacking technique. Nice. So cool. And foil approved. I don't think I'm going to use this for foiling, but can do it all. Oh, look at these cutouts. Nice. So personally, my most favorite new feature about these boards are the foot straps. And you're gonna ask, what can possibly change about the foot straps? Well, it's not the foot straps themselves, but more the plugs and the screws. So, the new thing is that we can now fix this, uh, the foot straps with two screws per side. So, in total, four screws per strap. And the big advantage of this is, first of all, you have you feel way more locked in the board. You feel way more locked in the in the strap with your feet. I made such a big difference when we tested this. And the second big advantage is this, that it's less likely you're gonna rip the plug out. That actually happened to me before and I know from all the other brands it also happened. It happens all the time actually. And of course uh, it's not twisting anymore. So um, before you really had to tighten the screw until the very end to not have the foot strap twisting. But what that does is it's kind of damaging the plug if you pull it too hard. So with this you don't really have to tighten it that strong and it really doesn't twist so it's actually a really cool system and I'm happy we have this now so ideally you're not supposed to use uh, power tools for this but um, I always slightly screw it in with this and then I take a normal screwdriver to gently tighten it um, uh, but especially with this new system uh, it's actually not so bad to use this because eventually the weight gets distributed on both of the screws so yeah I'm so happy with this let's get this done okay so it started raining and uh, yes I only put one foot strap and yes I only did that for the video 
Anyway, let me tell you uh, briefly about the board before I get too wet out here. Uh, I know it's nice for you to watch because you're sitting on your couch with your phone in your hand or behind your computer screen. So anyways, um, as I said, this is approved for foiling so you can uh, stuck a foil inside. Um, the cutouts are completely new, um, which uh, I'm really happy about. Um, so we got less of a cutout now before we had slightly more. And um, we also took a little bit more out in this area. Before it was all filled out here in this area. And now we cut out a little bit here. We did some more details as well. Um, which I don't want to go get into too much right now. So the fact that we cut out this area a little bit more actually helped with um, getting, a, getting a little bit more release. Um, it makes the board more loose and actually also faster because there is less, less friction. Um, having these rails uh, further outside and not having the cutout like this as we had it before made it uh, much more stable. Um, it feels much safer on the rail now and that makes it easier to ride and eventually makes you get higher speeds in especially difficult conditions. Um, and also important is that the tail area in general got a little bit more volume which uh, makes it really cool actually also to sail with 8.6 and it was actually really really stable and fast with the 8.6 as well. But at the same time we didn't lose any control uh, in strong wind powered up 7.0 so um, it's so awesome overall I'm so happy so I think that's enough for now um, if you have any questions let me know I'll gladly answer them in the comments or also uh, in another video I'm not gonna talk any more about the other boards now I'm gonna save that for later and I think uh, the weather is telling me to stop this video now so if you liked it thumbs up as always if you didn't like it thumbs down and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Is anybody still watching? <laughs>